I really want to finish this surface nicely. So, man, that jackhammer sucks. There's a nearby jackhammer that I'm gonna have to talk over, so you guys are just gonna have to bear with me. I'm sorry, but I gotta get this film to move on. Um, this is a storage space that I've reclaimed. I wanna finish it off as nice as I can. So I've added some furring blocks back there to the walls so that I can add shelving. It was a nightmare. That was tough uh, to get everything set in there, but it is done and it's ready for the shelves to be added. So I'll cut those out of plywood, glue those in place in there, and then I'll paint this with like an epoxy paint so that it's just a pretty nice finished surface in there so there's not fiberglass rubbing on anything that we decide to store in there. Who knows what it could be, but I want it to be kind of finished and kind of nice, so that's next. Told you that jackhammer sucks. So it's cool and that <clears throat> all right it's starting to get really comfortable out so i'm back to work on the solar panel and electrical stuff um, the first thing is that this pole has to come out and that's because it's the run or the chase it's where i'm putting all the electrical wires so i have to take it out and i have to drill the top out and i have to drill the base out completely um, you know about a two inch hole basically opening the whole thing up to get all the wires down so I'll be using the topping lift on the boom. I'll put the boom all the way over to this side and I'll use the topping lift and basically pull the whole roof up. It doesn't need to come up, but a half of an inch. And uh, just, in, well, maybe a little bit more, but not very much, just enough for this pole to come out. But first, the whole battery bank needs to come out, <laughs> which is gonna be a nightmare because those batteries weigh probably 150 pounds a piece. They're huge batteries. They need to come out so that I can get room in to undo those bolts under there. Uh, so yeah, a lot of work needs to happen first, but that's what I'm working on this afternoon for sure. While Warren is back in Mexico working on the boat and I'm home in Colorado, my job is to edit, 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 edit. That's all I do. Actually, I have a little bit of fun too, but primarily I have been editing videos all summer long. All right, it's nice and cool in the back of the boat, so it's time for me to put the engine back together. We have the injectors have been returned and rebuilt, so I've got all my parts super, super clean, as clean as I can possibly get them. And I've cleaned out the ports on the motor really well. You gotta have everything really clean, you know, since the injectors can be fouled really easily. So yeah, I should go back in with that pretty quickly. So here we go. Oh. This engine compartment is certainly bigger than the last boat, that's for sure. But yeah, we cleaned around here. These go back in, injectors go in each four of these ports. Get her going again.
for that one. Now, I'm gonna move on to the next one and hopefully get it done before it's dark. And then I'll fire them up tomorrow. Ooh. Ah, my body's feeling older in cramped spaces like that. Ooh. Time for a beer, I think. Because we have a strong desire to be as off-grid and self-reliant as possible, in addition to reducing our dependence on fuel and thereby reducing our carbon footprint, this solar project is one of our most important for sure, and I had spent plenty of time planning out how the electrical could be run from the roof down to the engine compartment where the battery bank sits, as well as mapping out the solar layout, maximizing our roof real estate with as many panels as possible. Not an inherently difficult job in theory, but execution proved to be a bit more challenging than hoped. Way more, actually, if I'm honest. was actually not all that bad and I definitely have the pole out now the next part is to drill huge holes actually cut huge holes in both ends there and up here and at the base in the fiberglass so I have a huge chase to go down that's just how it's done yep here is actually where it all started coming apart for me and if you're not familiar with stainless, let me tell you right now, it is so hard. Much, much harder than most other steels. And I was having a hell of a time getting through the quarter inch thick plates at each end of this tube. Holy good Lord, this is gonna take forever. Man, I spent hours at it and threw just about every power tool I had at this. I did eventually get holes just big enough to house the thick cables needed to carry the juice down from the solar sets. I got the electrical panel built and uh, I think it looks really good and it's pretty practical so now I'm going to mount that in the engine compartment and get all the wires run to it over the next few days and I say a few days because I can work for an hour and a half in the morning and about an hour and a half at night otherwise I'm just gonna get sunburned and I'm probably I would die <laughs> it's just too hot I would melt so mornings and evenings All right, all right, good news. Even though yesterday was the hottest, most uncomfortable day I may have ever had in my life, uh, I got uh, the wires run for the solar. They're all pulled up from the engine compartment and it was a nightmare. Yesterday hovered around 100. I was either up here baking in the sun on the roof or I was in the engine compartment, both of which are super uncomfortable. And But I got it done. They came up the two poles that support the roof. They're nice, they're hidden, 
and they're complete, the big thing. I also got the solar controller panel, the power panel, built and installed. That's great. Um, it looks awesome. So now I just have to run the final wires, not run the final wires, do the final wire hookup and make it pretty down there at the panel and then also drill out the bimini here so that the wires can run up the tubes and be nice and hidden like the rest of this will be. And then I will trim and, and secure all of the wires right where they need to be and then we mount the panels. Um, it's noon so I'm taking a break from that and moving inside but that's the plan. I should have this done in the next couple days. So that's great news. Really starting to wrap up the majority of the projects here. So I should be leaving here in the next week or so, I think. Head back to Colorado for a little bit. But on to more boat projects here. It was high time to head home, and that's always bittersweet, but at this point, it was not even a choice. I could stay and melt like a candle, or, or head home to cool off and take a break. And it was actually a nice quick solo road trip back home to Colorado, where I could see friends and family, and I was really, really looking forward to kicking back and getting to relax a little. As always, a trip home was just what the doctor ordered. And within a few days, I was right as rain and forgot all about the heat of Mexico. Now, there are only a few places as beautiful as Colorado in the fall, and I was glad to be there. But it wasn't long before we started seeing sure signs that it was time to start heading back south. Oh no. Oh no. It almost is time. Yeah. We'll miss Being you. Been great as usual. Oh, we love coming home for the summers, and we said this last year that that was our last trip, even though we came back again. But it was worth it. We love you, Colorado. We love all our family and friends. Peace. Adios for now. <laughs> okay, you're doing great. Thank you. Are you oh, I am. <laughs> Go <Going> home. <laughs> Okay, this is it. Finally, honey. We are... Okay, this is it. We are heading back to our boat. Final leg. Final leg. We have basically been living out of a bag for six months. Well, that's enough. Gentlemen, welcome to our flight, We're heading home to our boat. We could be more excited. So happy. Yeah. It was so <laughs> Well, we made it back and I am so tired. I don't even think I'm gonna eat or even brush my teeth. I'm going straight to bed. We left this morning from Seattle at 5 a.m. and it is nine o'clock. <laughs> we made it, honey. We're home, we're I'm home. Gonna go to bed in our bed. Oh, good night. Well, that does it for this week. Next week, we revel in finally being together aboard this new home we are so, so looking forward to continuing this wild, wild journey on. Thanks guys for watching. Thanks especially to those keeping these videos going by helping us out on Patreon. We salute you and cheers.